if you are interested in, in some sort of specials in the uh, Merseyside derby, then you've got to be looking at red cards, yellow cards, and surely we're going to see both colours here. Yeah, I had a quick look uh, on Wikipedia the other day and saw how many cards and red cards there have been in this fixture. No doubt it's a very bad-tempered affair. There will be some prices there. The only one I did see, that, which actually is not to do with cards, was 8-1 to for Gerrard to be first goal scorer. We know it's going to be a foul-tempered affair. Perhaps we'll see a penalty and uh, him score it. So that, that, if I was going to perhaps have a bet, I'd go for the penalty rather than a red card because uh, you always assume there's going to be more red cards than perhaps there are. Butler, we're looking at red and yellow cards. What are the specials? Yeah, I mean, the whole host of specials and William Hill will come out with how many cards? No cards, 14 to 1. Come on, let's put another note on that. I think there's going to be some cards. I wouldn't be rushing down to my local shop to back the no cards at 14 to 1. 20 red cards in this fixture in the Premier League. That's 42 matches, averaging around about 11 to 10 against that a, a match is going to be a red card. And if you look at the stats, this twice here, a little bit bigger than 2 to 1, a red card shown. But any average game you would look at, William was telling me, William Hills would be around about uh, 7 to 2, something like that. And the thing is, you can get 20. To 10. I don't think the reaction is big enough as what it should be. I believe there will be a red card, and the stats say there will, and I'd be having a few good on a red card at 21 to 10. No cards 14 to 1. The first card to Everton or first card to Liverpool, about pick them. It's about to split them for even money, Everton, 4 to 5 Liverpool. But this red card shown 21 to 10. I'm, I'm interested in that. I'm going to have a little tenor on that and have some fun in the game. OK, no disrespect to uh, Everton and Liverpool, but you play second fiddle to the game at Stamford Bridge where. Chelsea flying high, top of the table, against maybe champions-elect Manchester United. Now, I look at this game and I think everyone wants to be on Chelsea. Yeah, it, the, the interesting thing is goals, isn't it? I mean, both sides are, are getting... A, they should be watertight at the back. They've got great keepers, but for some reasons they're letting in goals after goals. But maybe they've got a really good defensive record away from home. They do. And interestingly, if you look at who we expect them to play, we expect them to play a full tide. Absolutely everybody is going to be out there. We expect them to actually be possibly a little better than, than you would expect of late. But at the same time, I'm going goals galore in this one. And I was looking around, and it, there's 7-1 to one around for this to have the most goals of any Premiership game this weekend. If we want loads of goals, we need goal scorers... Uh, Butler, throw some at me, please. Well, this is it's an array of players. You can pick any one of the 20 outfield players and who can score the first goal, and there we are. And look at these. We're going back to old school prices here. 11 to 2 favourites, 6 to 1 favourites. That's how competitive it is. William, going to your William Hill shot when you see Van Persie play away at Norwich, he's around about a 5 to 2 shots, 9 to 4 shot to score the first goal. This is how competitive anyone could score. Hazard, the man in form, 15 to 2. Matter, 15 to 2. Torres, a 6 to 1 shot, rule him out. Don't fancy him at all. Van Persie, the man, 11 to 2. Welbeck probably won't play. But I look, anybody could win it. It's a very, very competitive market but one thing it won't be no goal scorer this will not happen there's goals galore but if I had to push, 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 have to force have a bet matter 15 to 2 would be my choice well the butler I'd go for uh, any of the uh, Manchester United centre backs no John Terry they don't defend well from, from set pieces so I think Man United's goals could well come from Edin, um, Evans Ferdinand maybe even Raphael when he goes uh, marauding if they play the uh, diamond best bet of the weekend from you Rupert Best bet of the weekend is probably this game to, or say the Man United game to have the most goals. I think that's seven to one is a cracker, absolute cracker. Okay, I actually do fancy Manchester United in this game and plenty of goals. Any specials? Yeah, there's, there's, we're talking about those headline prices. It's nine to two for Rooney to score any point in the game and a Man U victory. So chances are they're going to get goals from RVP or Rooney, and then add to, add in the fact that you think they're going to win. That's not a bad price. Yeah, I, I think there's quite a, quite a bit to get your head around. Well, I thank you to uh, Nigel the Bet Butler. Thank you very much to Rupert Adams from William Hill. I've been Flash Gordon Watson, and we'll speak to you again soon. Take care.